let's now learn how to read the face for physical and emotional well-being. If you are experiencing lines that run horizontally across your forehead, it is due to history of chronic worry and anxiety. Vertical line between the center of the eyebrows is an indication of chronic skepticism. It can be related to an individual who is overly headstrong, judgmental, or critical. The downward lines on the outer edges of the lips, or what we call the marionette lines. The downward lines coming from the outer side of the lips, where the upper and lower lips meet, indicate chronic unresolved sadness and grief. This can be caused by past trauma, unresolved childhood experiences, unresolved issues with loved ones, or history of depression. Dealing with unresolved grief is not easy, as it can bring up suppressed emotions that have been hidden away for quite some time. A vertical line that forms on the right inner eyebrow, between the brows but more to the right, is revealing low liver chi. Currently, you may have begun to notice thinning of the outer eyebrows. This can be an indication of a few different issues. This hair loss may occur in diabetes, hypothyroidism, low blood sugar issues, or chronic anxiety. If you are experiencing sudden, unexplained weight gain, fatigue, depression, and constipation, along with the eyebrow hair loss, you are most likely looking at a thyroid issue and therefore should have your TSH levels tested, liver disorder, or potential future liver issues. If line is forming more towards the inner left eyebrow, this is a sign of low spleen chi and possibility of a past, future, or current spleen disorder. A horizontal line between the eyebrows indicates future prostate, cervix, or reproductive issues due to low chi in each respective area. One can use this knowledge as a guide to prevention, strengthening these organs before potential disease arises. Bugs and puffiness under the eyes indicates low kidney and or adrenal chi. This can be caused by chronic stress, burnt out adrenals, long-term sleep disorder, excessive caffeine intake, genetics, high blood pressure, or diabetes. Puffiness on top eyelid indicates low liver chi, a current liver issue, pre-symptom of a future liver disorder. Therefore, appropriate treatment to heal and strengthen the liver should be administered ASAP. Blood vessels popping out over the temporal region of the forehead shows tendency of high blood pressure. This is caused by excessive stress and anger, which leads to high blood pressure. Healing these emotions will help to reduce high blood pressure and reduce bulging of blood vessels. A deep groove stemming from the outer eye and coming outward indicates low reproductive chi. This can cause menstrual disorders, infertility, low libido, menopausal issues, impotence. Treatment involves proper diet, lifestyle, and acupuncture treatment that will remove the cause and nourish these organs. If you notice deep grooves on the outside of the nostrils, this is showing low lung chi, chronic allergies, or a history of respiratory illness. This could be a general weakness in the area, although it most likely stems from a history of asthma bronchitis, pneumonia, or something similar. When this deep groove is seen, one should work to strengthen the lungs with the appropriate treatment while avoiding potential allergies and other triggers such as overexertion. If you see a line that runs downward or sideways on the earlobes, you are seeing a sign of high cholesterol and potential risk for future heart disease. If your chin is sporting a horizontal groove, often curved slightly downwards, this indicates deep-seated unresolved grief held in the body. Also sign of a low libido or both. If you suspect unresolved grief, 
This can be remedied by using some subtle tools to release stored emotions, allowing them to be safely processed. Although there is no denying how cute a nice set of dimples can be, according to Ayurveda, they are actually a sign of low reproductive energy. This may be seen as an obvious dimple in the cheek area pictured here, or it can also show up as a vertical line or crease where the dimple typically lies. Either way, this may be an indication of a current low libido, menstrual disorders, hormonal issues, impotence, infertility, or a future indication of issues to come and should be addressed accordingly. Although a prominent philtrum is often interpreted as an attractive feature, it is actually an indication of a low libido and potentially weak reproductive organs. Therefore, if you are seeing a prominent philtrum, Above your lip, you may benefit from a rejuvenating regimen that works to strengthen the reproductive organs and increase overall sexual potency. The classic dimpled chin has more meaning than just a unique facial feature. It may be a sign that there is a weak prostate or cervix in females and can be a prodromal sign of issues to come in these vital organs. Therefore, an individual with a dimpled chin should take precautions and strengthen the prostate or cervix before any obvious disorder occurs. Prominent nasolabial lines indicate malabsorption when our bodies are not absorbing nutrients properly due to weak digestion, improper diet, toxins, inflammation of GI tract. The more prominent the lines, the more serious the issue and the longer the treatment process. Other physical signs of malabsorption include teeth marks on the perimeter of the tongue and vertical lines going down the nails. Double chin indicates current or future hypothyroidism. Work to increase metabolism to prevent or treat low thyroid chi. Work out which element is your patient's causative factor. Causative factor, or CF, is element that remains from birth or early childhood for the rest of their lives. CF is the person's underlying imbalance. Tailor your treatment plans to achieve remarkable results. Wood people often get the fuzzy end of the lollipop because they are often misunderstood as harsh or intimidating. They are actually funny and kind, but they wield a lot of power and they are often honest to a fault. Woods are fearless. They are like the sudden expansive growth of spring after a long, slow winter. And like the power of tree roots that push through solid concrete. Woods lead with a determination and will that surpasses all limits. At the same time, wood people see the bigger picture, find solutions, seek out the best in things, and make changes. They are strong, sturdy, stable, fearless, logical, reasonable, bold, independent, and unapologetic. They are also very fair-minded, and nothing upsets them more than injustices. This makes them powerful. Woods are doers. They turn ideas into action. Woods exude confidence and don't let much stand in their way. If they can imagine it, it can be done. They know what they want, are decisive, make things happen, and push themselves to the limit. They enjoy debates and arguments and are not easily swayed by others' opinions. Once they make up their minds, there is little that can convince them that someone else's opinion is right. Woods know they are right, which acts as fuel for their strong drive, but doesn't always bode well for their personal relationships. Just as every element is led by a dominant emotion, woods are often led by anger. There is a subconscious simmering of anger that surges up fast for woods, especially when they witness unfair situations or mistreatment of people. If woods can learn how to slow down, mellow out, and gain compassion for others, they can experience resilient health and well-being, as well as enjoy productive careers and satisfying relationships. It helps Woods to have an upbeat partner 
who frequently gives them a pat on the back or a high five. A quick acknowledgement lets Woods know what their hard work that their hard work is acknowledged by the people they want to please the most. Is there a person at your work or among your friends who seems to always be happy, joyful, or excited all the time? You know the one. They walk into a room with a huge smile, almost dancing as they walk. There is an up uplifting, lively rhythm to their existence, and they seem to not get stuck in the muck that slows down the rest of us. Life is a party and living it is a ball. Fires have the natural ability to pull other elements out of stubbornness, darkness, depression, boredom, and worry into the land of the living. Their energy, laughter, and high spirits are contagious. They laugh easily and seem to be bubbling over with excitement, even if others don't see anything about which to get excited. Just about every day is an incredible experience for them. Pleasure, fun, and anything that feels good is what fires are drawn to. However, fires often abandon people or events that lack excitement, passion, romance, and fun. They are loyal and dedicated until something doesn't feel good and then they move on to the next pleasurable experience. This may mean that they end up being serial monogamists. Also, it can seem like a fire person loves everybody and that their love for you isn't so special or sincere. They can appear to be everybody's best friend. Perpetually in motion, fires are constantly chasing the next shiny object. When faced with displeasure from others, a fire's joy can turn to panic. There has never been a more perfect earth person than Melanie, Scarlett O'Hara's sister-in-law from the movie Gone with the Wind. Melanie saw only good in people, and she did only the most thoughtful deeds for others. She had no ulterior motives and didn't play games. She simply had the most tender, caring, understanding, giving heart of gold. In the movie, when she takes her wedding ring off her hand to give to the war effort, even though her husband may never return from battle, she does it with truth, honesty, love, and generosity in her heart. Earths are the angels of compassion and caring. Earth people almost always have children, but if they don't, they will pour their love into caring for animals or teaching children. They will also pour their love into their relationships. If you know an earth person, you have probably received some homemade bread, a pie, some chicken soup, or a hand-stitched kilt from them. Their nurturing nature comes from deep within the heart and shows itself through generosity. They kilt, saw, garden, cook, or paint. Also, they can give handmade gifts to others. They want to make you feel comfortable, safe, and to know you are loved. They want to give to the whole world. Deep inside, they are hoping for love in return. When earth people don't get love in return, they can question their entire existence, falling into codependent cycles that never seem to end. For earth people, the past is comfortable and change can be excruciating. They hold on to the past with all their might. Earths don't want anyone to feel bad or dislike them, so they're careful not to rock the boat. Uncomfortable with change and risk, they tend to walk on eggs, say what they think people want to hear, and enable others in all, their, in all of their destructive behaviors. The metal way is a reverent way. The metal person is a master at meeting life where it is at and rising above it. They're above the fray of its ups and downs and never get too ruffled. Metals are spiritual seekers, often looking to the next guru or toward the next mind-body-spirit connection. If the most spiritually elevated gurus are in India, that is where a metal will go. There is no argument, no debate. They will quietly go to where they find one-on-one -on -one connections with others who seem to also be on their path of higher consciousness. Because the metal person is often seeking a higher path of spiritual existence, if you don't fit into their vision of the divine, then they will probably politely end the relationship with you. Again, there is no arguing or struggle. The metal will say farewell and move on to something and someone at the level that they require. It can feel cold and detached, 
but for the metal, it is a path of the highest respect for themselves and their journey. The cafes in Paris are filled with water people. The urban coffee houses in America are magnets for them. The hookah lounges in the Middle East are packed with them. Waters everywhere love lounging with good friends and waxing eloquently about all that is right and wrong with the world. The deeper the conversations, the better. They are your most alluring poets, your wisest writers, your most hypnotizing musicians, and your sagest philosophers. Water people dive deep into the depths of life. They get hypnotized by complex musical scores and they blissfully lose themselves in the arts. Waters are the people at gallery openings who stand in front of one painting for hours, talking about its lines, its colors, its use of angles and curves. They are the ones who walk slowly through the rain, soaking up the smell of the wet pavement and listening to the droplets on the ground. Waters take their time. The word hurry is not in their vocabulary, and this plays out in the way they speak, walk, act, react, and live. Theirs is a slower rhythm as they take in everything around them. There is a childlike playfulness with the water person. They enjoy cuddling and being cuddled. Waters like convenience and expect to be served. Doing things themselves and following through with ideas is not their strong suit. Their ideas are unique and inspiring, but putting these ideas into action is quite difficult for a water. They can get lost in life and overwhelmed by the details. They yearn for someone else to manage the details for them. Life can look warped to a water who tends to live deep within themselves where they feel secluded and alone. Imagine diving into a swimming pool, then opening your eyes underwater to look up. You can see the size of the pool and even the people and activities going on up above the water, but everything is distorted. This is how life can look to a water when they go deep within themselves. With their unending thoughts, they can be prone to depression. When they are depressed, everything can become exaggerated and look like a very different reality than the reality that others see. This is the end of our presentation. And uh, if you want to learn more about face reading, uh, you may want to register with Lam Foundation to have access to our free ebooks. Thank you very much for listening.